The Thing in the Woods, from the Amnesia Custom Story, A Late Night Drink. Once upon a time, in a small, quiet village, could be found small, quiet people. The people weren't small in stature, but in demeanor. The very few times anyone would happen in, onto the village, either passing through or perhaps to trade, they would always note the same things about the villagers. They kept to themselves, smoking short, timid sentences, and above all, people noted that they seemed kind. They welcomed outsiders under one condition, do not go into the woods. Most people wrote it off as local superstition. This is until one day when a young man came to the village. He was a charismatic man that everyone took to. Unfortunately, he was also very brash and ignorant He and ignored the warning about the forest. He he entered the place against the warnings of the local blacksmith, the oldest man in the village, and also the only man old enough to remember what happened the last time someone entered those evil woods. He told the young man that an evil lurked deep in there that would possess and corrupt even the kindest soul, turning him against his fellow man. The boy laughed, the boy laughed it off and left to see what wonders in the forest may hold. He did not return for three nights, during which the blacksmith barricaded his door from the inside and urged the townsfolk to do the same. Unfortunately, time had faded no f time had faded hard facts into passing knowledge, then into the whispered rumors, and finally into half belief superstitions. The townsfolk worried about the young man. But partially out of fear and mostly out of disbelief and their own superstition, they ignore the smith's warnings. The third night came, and the and with it evil. The blacksmith stayed in his workshop, barricaded and terrified, and listened as some as someone entered the quiet village and slaughtered everyone within. Then there came the banging on the on his door. Though he knew it would take more than a, a man or even a beast to break down the door, he was still afraid, until day, daybreak finally came, and with it the banging stopped. The unfortunate young man, possessed by a great evil, had left the village. However, they say that if, young, that if you go into the village at night and listen closely, you can still hear him searching for his final victim, screaming madly, where's the blacksmith?